Hey everybody, Sam here and welcome back to the channel. The last time you guys saw Old Blue the tractor, I put a patch on it, thought it would work, it kind of worked, but it was ultimately a big flop. Today's video is all about continuing my tire saga and getting the Blue tractor back up and running so I can finish brush hogging our backfield. Using some cinder blocks, two by sixes, four by fours, and the jack out of my truck, I had the tractor raised up and supported properly on the axle. Well, that'll get you a little bit of heat built up. <laughs> Moving those things around, they're heavy. They are loaded full of liquid. Don't know if it's good stuff, bad stuff. We'll find that out at the tire store. Next thing to do is clean out our utility trailer, bring it over with the truck. It has a ramp, so that's probably gonna be the easiest thing to load these things up on. Put it on there, and then take these big girls to the tire shop. Yeah, that looks beefing. Yeah. I don't know what you want me to do. I don't know, I'm trying to get around the dang pole. <laughs> 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 Woo! I saw you jump. Yeah. So looking at the valve stem, this looks pretty gnarly. Um, it makes me think these are for sure tubed and we're probably gonna have to tube these as well. That looks like some serious rust and rot on this wheel and on this other one. It's kind of the same way. So we'll see, do what we can. Thankfully, the tires and wheels are loaded safely. No one got hurt, no one got squishy squished and they made it on the trailer without any big fiasco. Have them tied down. Now let's hit the road and see if we can get new tires put on these things. So we just got back here from going to the co-op. I left the tires with them and it should be ready to be picked up by tomorrow around lunchtime. Hope so at least. It's Saturday, they close at 12, but between this afternoon and tomorrow morning, fingers crossed, they'll get us done in time and I'll get to go pick them up. I shot a little bit of a clip showing you guys the valve stems and how it was pretty rusted in that kind of area. When I got to the shop out there, the guy said, yeah, you, yeah, those are not gonna work. <laughs> you need new rings. So I went ahead and said, okay, do you have rings? I said, yes, they have them. So I said, fine, just hook me up for the, the works. Luckily though, the hub or the middle part of the wheel they're gonna reuse, they just need to replace the bolts, the rings, the tires, 
and I also told them to go ahead and put tubes in it. I had one new tube that I did buy thinking that I'll try and tube this myself. I'm glad I didn't. But I left that tube with them. I said add another one to the other side, but do not load the tires. The functionality that we're going to use for this Ford is not something that normally you need loaded tires for. This is basically a glorified lawnmower. You know we run our brush hog behind it a little bit and we use our straight blades for the driveway. So for now, I'm going to try running them unloaded. I went ahead and had them put the tubes in the tires anyway, even though they are tubeless tires, so that it gives me the option down the road. If I want to load these tires up with something like rim guard, I can do that. The tubes are already there, and it gives me the option down the road. That's my thinking at least. So what I want to do next while I have a little bit of daylight left is actually pressure wash this thing. I'm gonna try and get my degreaser out, spray it down, pressure wash it, clean it up, and basically take advantage of having the wheels off and this thing otherwise stationary to do a little bit of spit shine to it. Welcome to the next day. I just got back from the tire shop for picking up new tires, new tubes, and new rims. So what I have here are a set of Firestones. They're 13.6 or 13 and a half inches wide on a 28 inch rim. These are directional, so I need to make sure I put them on the correct side of the tractor. Otherwise, when you go forward, you'll go reverse. It's very important with directional tires. Before I roll these tires over and mount them up, I want to take a second to look at the drum brakes on the tractor. It would be foolish not to go ahead and pull the drums off, look at the pads, see if they need fixed, repaired, if they're due to be replaced, but otherwise take advantage of this thing being apart just to check on this one system. The drum brakes are all adjusted and I spent a little more time off camera adjusting the left and right to match so that with my brake pedals, when they're disconnected from each other, they both travel the same distance before it grabs. Most of the times the tractor, okay, most of the times the way we use a tractor, I'll have the pin locked so that your left and right brakes are together and bound, but it's good to take it apart and make sure they're adjusted evenly. That way one is not doing more work than the other. It did kind of look like I might have a leaky axle seal on this side. I'm not prepared to really do that project just yet. I did clean it out, wipe it out. There's no visible drips, no bad leaks, nothing severe. I checked the fluid, it's okay as well. So I'm gonna leave it for now. It's a project I will do in the future, near future probably, but it's not something I'm ready just to get total project creep into because honestly, I need this thing back together and working so I can finish brush hogging the back part of our field because it never got done last year. Time to muscle up Buttercup, get these tires off the trailer, over and mount them on the tractor. Hopefully this won't be a nightmare, but we're about to all find out. Much better than when we took them off. Much better. Watch out. 
Did you give me room here? So it doesn't fall on you, so I freaked out more. Kind of walking it up closer to the wheel. Hold it up and see how far away I am from the bolts. A little bit too far. So I'll pull it out. All right, I'm gonna roll the tire back. Did you lay it down under there so I can roll it up on top of that? There you go. Thank you. And see that raises it up. <laughs> Just about there. Here, go on the other side. I'm gonna have you crank the jack up for me. This will be all right since we're close to the end here. Yep, there you go. That's it. Yeah, how do you like this this real stuff versus farming simulator? <laughs> This isn't greatest. Hey, hey, one done, one to go. Although this next tire is the one that's laying flat on the trailer. So I'm gonna have to channel my inner Magnus Magnuson. Does anybody know who that is? If you know who that is, leave me a comment down below. You'll be awesome if you do. But I'm gonna pull my biggest Magnus impersonation, lift the tire, bring it over, and mount it on this side of the tractor. There we go. Watch out. Walk it down. <laughs> what are you doing? All right, we get to lower this one down quite a bit, but lowering a jack is a lot easier than raising one. I will go ahead and put this 2x6 down on the ground, help raise it up a little bit, but otherwise, see if I can coerce Elijah into cranking the jack some more. <laughs> Alright, now go up a little bit, we'll take the weight off the tire. That way we get it centered on real good on the hub. There we go. That's it. Yes. It feels great to have old Blue, the tractor, back in service again. She's got some new shoes, but I think it's time to get those a little bit muddy and grassy. What I have here is our backfield. I'm gonna spend a little bit of time go ahead and brush hog as much as I can, get this old weeds cut down so that this year's grass stand for hay production can go ahead and get a kickstart. Well, did great. 
they have been worked in now and i do not regret not loading the tires this thing had no problem at all running the brush hog out here on honestly pretty much as much of a hill as we own no problem at all and the ground is fairly soft this is winter aka the season of mud for us and if it does it great now it'll be perfect from now on i guess that's about it tractor got new tires and wheels and tubes but that's fine it had to be fixed this was needed a tractor is a vital piece of equipment for us so it's nice to have it up and running again if you got any questions or comments you guys know what to do leave them for me down below otherwise if you enjoyed it let me know i've got a few other things i need to tweak with this thing and i'll probably bring you guys along regardless but it would be nice to know if you really are interested otherwise take care we'll see you guys next time on the homestead Phew, that'll generate a little Welcome back to our channel. The last time you guys saw this video, wrong. Looking pretty muddy here. Uh oh. <laughs> Rub my eyes, that wind makes me cry, cry, cry.